and family relationship is a strong and recurring theme. In today's show we'll be discussing this theme in its entirety, and a comparison to the book Becca Lamb will also be a the word. Dysfunctional was not in common use in 1968, but Billy's family clearly falls under this definition. The opening sequence of the novel reveals a family characterized by minor cruelties, poor organization, indifference to the feeling of other family members and a complete lack of love and nurturing behavior on the part of Billy's mother. You better get out. The alarm's gone off, you know. Do you think I don't know? Jude? No. Oh. You'll be late. Shoot it. Clock's not fast, you know. I said shoot it. Give up, that hurts. I'll shut it then. I'll tell me mum on you. Shut your stinking mouth. Judd is the cause of much pain in Billy's life. In the opening passage he meanly takes away Billy's warm blankets and then goes to work on Billy's pike so that Billy would have to walk his paper round. We'll be right back after these messages. Nannerpuss, Nannerpuss, and guess what? I love pancakes. Isn't it time for a serious breakfast? This Tuesday, from 6 a.m. to 2, Denny's is giving a free Grand Slam to everyone in America. Live on stage, the posse from Mother's Pageant. With their mother's full house, party big fun, this is your love, this cheese, don't be a tough like full of weight. Party cheese, I'm not the call me a... Party with me, when everybody wants it. But we know no beef, we know no beef. Fish party, poor party, and poor party cheese. Yes, chick, 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 mother's chicken. Party and party for your wrist, my dear mama, and I'll tell you, I'm not a mother's son, I'll be a party for your wrist, my dear. Yes, the delicious, that's a line of only a... Hummus, the great Jamaican party come. Welcome back. Have you had any tea yet, Billy? No. Well, get some then. You know where the pantry is. How's your losses gone on, Judd? Not bad. Two winners. You haven't, have you? Huh? You might be getting tread tonight, then. Oh, somebody treats you every night. Oh, shut it. And don't you be coming home blind drunk again, either, Judd. Why? They're entertaining. <laughs> You're kidding. They're entertaining as much as you have to do, all right, shan't I? What trap you've been going out with lately, my God. Better that cripple you'll bring home, innit? What cripple? Reg? He's uh, not a cripple. Well, if he comes in here tonight, I'll tell you. At least them I go out with not tight-fisted, that's all. Always. You want to talk? You chuck your bloody money around like a Scotchman with no arms, don't you? Hey, I say, after you, just panic to get a threatening bit out of his hand, that's why. Ah, because he's coming white to you, ain't he? Ooh, I say, listen, what about him you're going with? He's tied to the camel's ass in a sandstorm. You just keep your hand off your mouth talking about him, because I'm telling you, you're uh, just into damn trouble. Yeah, you're not too big to have a good hide in you. He can't do it. Who can't? He can't. You might find that this, he's bigger than what you think. You what? No chance of getting stuck with lightning in the Well, mix, you can you shut think? your face, Judd, because I'm fed up of it. It's I every say. blooming Saturday night I get ready to go out, you're at me, and I always yeah, grab a blooming mess, don't I? And all I set. You're getting too big for your boots coming in and out here thinking you own damn house. You don't own it yet, you know. No, I will do one day, though, winner. Of a mad dead body. That's what I say. I'll own it one day, winner. I'm sick on it, Judd, I am. No, I'm sick Pig's of you. Sick. I go out to work every bloody day and every Saturday night I go out for a drink and you upset me. I don't think I'll go. I'm that fed up. Well, don't bother. I mean, I'll not miss you. No, but you'll not bloody miss no. Will you be out there, won't you? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Well, just smart looking kid, it, Millie. Somebody's going to be lucky to eat. It's the God's gift to a woman. Fancy buying me a brand new pep tonight? Uh, I hope it keeps eye for you. This could have done with a bit of a polish. Oh, still in mind, it's going to be dark soon. What are you going to do with yourself tonight, love? Read me book. I'm going to look at town five to seven. I'm going to be late again. Listen, Billy, there's two bob here. Chuck, I want you to get yourself some pop, some crisps. Dear. Yeah. 
throughout the text mrs casper parenting methods are far from commendable in the previous clip her lack of responsibility in love as a parent is evident she is more concerned with her social life than with her duties as a parent scene there was much tension in the Casper family when Judd found out that Billy did not place his winning bet. Judd becomes furious to the point of killing the dearest and most precious thing to Billy. Kess, of cruelty is a keen example of Judd's bullying and physical and emotional abuse towards Billy. The novels Kestrel for a Knave and Becca Lamb both describe the life experiences of two teenagers and their family life. In Becca Lamb, however, the love and family relations within her home is similar to that of Billy's tall tale. Becca has a supportive family and nurturing parents. Billy's family life is less appealing with frequent fighting, quarreling and acts of cruelty. His only friend is that of a bird, who seems to be the only support and confidant he has at home. Et jour après jour, je songe à courir très doucement vers toi. Mais toi, tu ne me connais plus. Après ce temps, je t'ai vraiment perdu. Et elle se range à tes côtés pendant que j'en oublie tes baisers et tes sanglots. 